بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I am Abraham Romas a Filipino citizen a former Seventh-day Adventist evangelist I embraced Islam in, when I was 21 year old now I am 60, uh, 62 years old now I'm very sad and shocked to what was happening of Sheikh Uthman in America while preaching Islam. He got stabbed by a white hater American. No news, no news and reports by Christian social media, nor single mainstream media in our planet reporting to the incident. Do you know? Do you know if one Christian American got stopped while preaching, would you believe no mainstream media or social media will report? As a Filipino die, doing the same job to you, six of men, for more than two decades already. And I would like to express my sadness and sympathy to you concerning this incident. And in behalf of the Muslim Filipinos, and particularly to Muslim Da'iya propagators in the Philippines, we strongly condemned this idiot Christian attacker and including the mainstream media throughout the world who were deaf and blind to this coward and bloodthirsty person. Because we are Muslim, they considered us like rats and menace in their society just imagine what happened to iraq what happened to syria afghanistan libya is there any single mainstream media in the west who condemned their brutalities against the muslim what happened to palestine what happened to Palestinians? Buildings and infrastructures were, were destroyed and flattened literally by Israelis. Children and civilians branded as terrorists who fought for their own land and survival. Did we find single Western media exposing to the world the brutalities and barbaric action of the Israelis? None at all. None at all. But look, look at today, what is happening in Ukraine versus Russian forces. Now the Western mainstream media and social media are like those barking barking for unity and solidarity with the Ukrainian people. But if it is done to the Muslim countries and land, <laughs> they are deaf and blind to the massacre and brutalities perpetrated by the non-Muslim. Islam faith, the more you suppress, the more people will understand the truth that we muslims that we muslims are true believers in god loving people and disseminating the message of truth left by the last prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may the peace and blessing upon him i am the living witness 
as a former evangelist of the Seventh-day Adventist who embraced Islam because I have found out that what the world has done injustices to the, to the Muslim world, I myself, the living witness to this, that misinformation, misunderstanding, and brutalities happen in Mindanao here in the Philippines. I'm one of the victims of this false propagation, propaganda against the Muslim. When I discovered this, I embrace Islam. I embrace Islam. Regard, disregarding other reasons concerning about the so-called infallibilities of the Bible, the so-called infallibilities of the Bible, contradictions of the Bible, excluding this matter. I'm only telling to you now uh, the injustices in connection also what had happened to Sheikh Uthman in America. I am imploring to any human being who has sound understanding whether you are a Muslim or a non-Muslim to hold justice, fairness, and equality for those who, who love peace. We Muslim are not your enemies. We are not your enemies. But we are your supporters and lovers of peace. We only express, we are only express our religion and faith peacefully, without bombs, without arms. Our only weapon is our faith in Allah. Remember our ancestors were the victims of inquisition and so-called Christian crusades. Yet many people today forget what had done to our ancestors, what they had done to our ancestors. And it continued today biases. Remember, Muslim did not start the first world war. Likewise, Muslim did not start the second world war. But we are branded as warlike people. Why? Why? I hope no other Muslim preacher in the world will experience the same to Sheikh Uthman. Like this squad and bloodthirsty American idiot attack, attacker done to Sheikh Uthman. Thank you for watching and listening. I am Abraham Rumas, a Filipino citizen. I'm talking in behalf of the Muslim in the Philippines and for particular the propag Muslim propagators in the Philippines. We are sympathizing and to our heartfelt and our prayer to, to Allah that no other incident will happen to any propagator in any corner of this planet. Thank you for listening. This is Ibrahim Romas. I will say thank you very much for your listening. Ashhadu ala ilaha anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.